Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book 1, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 1, Special Edition, now on Amazon. Back Classic Game Room on Patreon! Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Taz on Atari 2600 from 1983. Did you know there was a Tasmanian Devil game on the Atari? Did you know it's good? It might surprise you. Let's check it out. Taz from 1983. I really didn't expect much from this game, but it's actually pretty good. Any game where you eat hamburgers and get killed by dynamite can't be all bad. Let's just restart that. So the button does nothing in this game. You just move up, move up and down, left and right. The simplicity makes it good. As you might expect, like most Atari games, it starts off pretty slow and picks up speed. At first, your hamburgers are only worth 50 points each. So don't, uh, don't do anything stupid in the beginning. Don't get blown up, because you need some extra guys. Because later in the game, it gets fast. This reminds me of something. I'm having tr I can't remember what the... Taz, 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 Taz has a hearty appetite and likes a good mug of ale. The uh, controls are pretty tricky in playing with the Sega Genesis controller. You just move Taz up and down and gobble the food while avoiding the dynamite. Okay? And like Super Pac-Man, Food starts to change and becomes worth more points. Here we are at level two. Taz is drinking beer. Probably root beer. Root beer's good though. Maybe it was beer, I just ran right into the dynamite. Man, after all this ice cream, Taz is gonna have a heart attack. It's all fun and games in Taz until you eat a stick of dynamite and watch your intestines get blown all over the wall. It's actually not that graphic. I'm just... I'm just weird. This game has suddenly turned into Tapper. And I approve. It's tr tricky because this has that great risk versus reward element that I like in a good arcade game. Do you play it safe? Or do you try to drink all the beer <laughs> and avoid the dynamite? Don't drink, don't drink a stick of dynamite. It's very bad for you. Like, I'm not a huge fan of fudge pops, so... Uh, beyond just getting points, I don't see any reason to eat them. Uh, well, now I'm screwed. You don't want to go flying all over the screen. There we go, extra guy. Extra guy is good, extra Taz. Crazed wave! Now this is usually where I die, quickly. Because it's crazy! Get to the next level! No! That's not what my thumb wanted to do! <laughs> I don't think I'm blinking. I... This is gonna hurt my eyes. <laughs> this game should have a warning for children on it. <laughs> Please make sure that your children blink while playing Taz. <laughs> hey, turnips! It's, it's like Dig Dug. Whoa! Whoa! Turnips possibly give you more points than beer and ice cream. That just doesn't make any sense at all. 
All right, so I'm basically just staring at the right side of the screen so that that one dynamite stick doesn't hit me. And then, um, kind of getting lucky occasionally. That's my strategy for this game. Just stare intently, intensely at the right side of the screen and hope for the best. Are you doing the same? Are you are you following along with me at home? Second row down, top right. Just stare at it. Because the dynamite's coming from the right over there. So if you can just avoid the dynamite by going either up or down. Oh, whoop, see up or down. You too can eat delicious vegetables. Oh wait, what do we we just turned in what are those tomatoes now? 500 points for tomatoes. That's, this is my high score in this game. I have really gotten into the Taz flow. <laughs> no! See, that's what happens when you lose composure. You die! Classic Game Roma has been brought to you by How to Make a Video Game Review Show That Doesn't Suck, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken on Amazon.